What's up, my dolls? It's your girl, Misty Dollars. Welcome back to the Money Train. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And when you do so, make sure you hit that bell so you won't miss what's coming next. Let's get this thing started. So today we're going to use the Matte Book Palette by the Crayon Case. I'm going to go into the blue and pink shades out of this palette. Yes, I almost said shadows. It would have been correct if I would have done so. But anywho, I'm going to take this blue right now and I'm going to apply it into my crease and I'm going to blend it out with the pink. And if you know your color well, of course, the pink mixed with the blue is going to turn into purple. So I'm going to officially have a purple and blue look. Now I'm going to cut my crease, which I'm not going to do a full cut crease because this is a halo eye. This is my first attempt. So bear with me, bear with me. I think I did very good for my first attempt. I'm using the Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C1. And I want to use a lighter concealer because that helps my colors to pop. And I absolutely love how this came out. So just keep on watching. So once I have the halo cut out the way I want it to be, I'm going to take that blue shade that I used earlier and I'm just going to blend that on the outer corners just to have that seamless effect. And then I'm going to take the pink and place that in the middle and blend it also into that blue, which again will make a purple in the center of that eye, thus giving me the perfect halo eye. As you can see, there is pink in the middle of the eye. That is because it is not mixing with the blue, creating that purple shade. It is giving you the true definition of the color I'm applying to my eye. Oh, but we're not done yet. I'm going to be taking the Glow Cane by Crayon Case. This is a highlighting powder. I'm going to take that and put it on the center of my eye just to give that pop using a Q-tip. Doesn't that look beautiful, y'all? You know, I, I couldn't just let it be done. Here I'm using some lashes by myself, Charismatic Designs Boutique. Message me or comment down below if you love these lashes and you would like you a pair. Shop www.missdollars.com. But baby, let's talk about this mirror, honey. Yes, do you see me slaying this mirror over here? Honey, honey, honey. Honey, red is my favorite color, has my picture in the middle, and some things that I love, fashion, absolutely, and beauty. So this is the finished look for this eye. I'm going to do the other side off camera, and I will be right back. So ladies, it is complete, and your girl is looking marvelous, I must say marvelous. But let's get down and do this face. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in 355 and also the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And that is in the shade 50. I'm going to do my face off camera and I'll be back in just a second. After I prime my face using the Wet n Wild Matte Primer and also the Maybelline Pore Eraser Primer. So here I'm just blending in that concealer into my face. Baby. That girl looking perfect already. I'm, I'm just saying. That girl. Who is she? Who is she? She is me and I am she. Thank you. Okay, so I got to make sure I... Blend this um, highlight on my forehead, honey, because it is already as big as all outdoors. And take that on down my nose. Now I'm going to be using the Chalk Dust Setting Powders. Yes, ma'am. These are bomb.com. And it is in the shades A and Y. So I use shade A under my eyes, of course, because I want that natural, you know, not too bright look. And then under my contour my chin and my forehead I will be using that shade Y it is more of an orangish undertone which gives me that perfect match and I absolutely love it this powder is absolutely amazing honey it keeps the, the sweat at bay 
it keeps them oils tamed do you understand me if you have not shopped the crayon case baby i think you should i'm just saying so my eyes are very small i like to use a white liner just to open my eyes up a little bit also i have on some dramatic lashes so i don't want it to look like i absolutely don't have an eye or it's lazy honey my eyes not lazy they just chinky okay they say i'm you know mixed with some chinese you know somewhere down the line but um i don't think so <laughs> i'm just playing so here i'm taking that pink shade out of the crayon case matte book palette that i used earlier and i'm just going to blend that under my lash line give it a little you know cuteness to add to the cuteness if you feel me After I'm done with the eyes, I'm going to take that chalk dust setting powder in the shade Y, dip my brush in it a little bit, and we're just going to brush all that powder off my face. Also, setting the face at the same time. I like this technique because it doesn't give me that cakey, powdery look, but it also um, makes sure my makeup lasts all night. Here I'm contouring with my Black Radiance. Is it Black Radiance? I think it's Black Get Radiance. Yeah, BR Black Radiance. Black Radiance Contour Palette from medium to dark. And I'm just applying that to my cheekbones, my nose, and under my chin. Here, you know, we got to set that face, honey. I'm going to spray my face to the gorts. Make sure all that powder is soaked into the skin. Then to highlight, I'm going to use this Glowden highlighting powder and that is also by the crayon case baby and it is beaming don't worry I'm, I'm gonna tone that down a little bit I know I'm looking like um some 24 karat <laughs> gold over here but yeah that's a little too much for me so we just gonna tone that down a little later a little later so just keep on watching your girl ain't done yet you're about to see what I got in store for you Oh, my mini me wanted to help me. So, of course, I let her line my lips. She wants to get into makeup. I think that is a great thing. So, here she is applying the Toast Lip Liner Pencil. I think this may be an eyeliner pencil, but I use it for my lips. I don't really use eyeliner pencils. Um, she did a good job. She, you know, went over just a little bit. And she's going to correct that in a second. No big deal. She did her thing. So we're going to use the crayon case matte lipstick in the shade Marie. And also the Hall Pass Collection lip gloss in the shade Clean Kisses. This is a beautiful combo. However, it would have been a nude lip um, seeing that the pencil that I used the toast pencil it had like a red undertone to it so mixed with those two colors it made it a light pink so these shades do not buy them thinking that they are a pink shade they're really not they're more on the nude side with a little cast of pink undertone but it's really a nude color it's very pretty very pretty I love this combination the look came out absolutely gorgeous now let me give y'all the final slay so your girl whipped her hair down okay yes slapped it in a ponytail and giving you the glow the glow for the guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and until next time remember like comment and subscribe to join the money train